Hover your cursor over Interests on your LinkedIn homepage and select Companies from the drop-down. Here on the right-hand side you'll see a yellow Create button. And the first stage is to enter your company name and your email address at that company. Verify you're a representative and click Continue. To set up a company page, you need an email address that's associated with that company. So it has to be your name at nameofthecompany.com. It can't be a Gmail address, it can't be a Hotmail address. If that email address isn't already associated with your own account, you'll need to confirm it and they'll send you an email so you can do this process. So firstly, you can choose the language that you want your page to be optimised for, the company name, and then you can write a short description about your company. Of course, you can come back to this later to complete any information or change anything if you need to update it. Now you can add admins to the page. It's always a good idea to have two admins if you can, just in case one of you loses access to the page or access to your LinkedIn account. So I'm going to add Lorna as she's my business partner in here. This. On the right hand side you can add even more information about your company. So firstly the company type, the company size, your web address, the company industry, and the year founded. You can add a location, so your business address, Now you can add some imagery to pimp your page to make it stand out a little bit. So firstly your header image and this is similar to the header image that you may use on your LinkedIn profile page or the header image that you have on Facebook. Click add image and you can see here that the it must be at least 646 pixels wide and 220 deep. Click choose file and once you've selected your file from your computer click upload. Once it's uploaded, you can choose to select the entire image or a portion of your image and click Save. Next, you can add your logo. This will appear at the top of your page just above your cover image. And finally, a smaller logo. This will be shrunk to 50 pixels by 50 pixels and it has to be square. And this will display next to company page updates when they're shared in Pulse and with company employees. Finally, you can add company specialities. And finally, you can add featured groups. At We Teach Social, we actually have a group that we run called Facebook for Business Island. And as you can see, as I start typing, it appears in the drop down menu. Now scroll to the top and click Publish. And here's the final result.